glory and we give you honor and we give you dominion. Just raise our hands in his presence and love God today. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you for life. We thank you that we are living this morning. We thank you, God, that you are worthy and there is none. The song man said, the psalmist said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. He said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and deliver me from all my fears. I bless your Glory. name, Jesus. You're awesome in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Master. Just go ahead and worship your God today. Hallelujah. We give you worship. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you honor, Jesus. Hallelujah. None like you. None like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul bless your name, Jesus. My soul give you praise. My soul give you worship. Hallelujah. My soul give you honor. Hallelujah. 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 Can somebody get grateful this morning and just raise your hands and bless God? Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm leaving this moment because of you.
today God it was your grace and your mercy that brought us through we live in this moment because of you hallelujah somebody just go ahead and thank him hallelujah we praise you to God because of you praise and we give you the praise and we give you the praise ah we give you glory and we give you honor this morning hallelujah ah you are alpha and omega we worship you Lord. you are worthy to
just love Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody bless him. Hallelujah. We give you praise. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your praises to the
We want to keep the same pace. Yes, Lord. We want to keep the same pace throughout the service. Hallelujah. Because we are here to celebrate. Hallelujah. When we go to work, we work. So when we come today to worship, let us worship him in spirit and in truth today. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Don't get too quiet though. Hallelujah. Glory to God this morning. I must first give honor to the God of my salvation this morning. And I give honor also to my pastor, Dr. Delroy Chambers, and his wife, Dr. Evan Chambers, this morning, to Minister Dawkins, and all officers and brethren today, deacon and deaconesses today. Today is Deacon Sunday for the first. Hallelujah, we're gonna deep today. Ushers, I mean, sorry. Hallelujah, we're gonna hush today, but don't quiet. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is a different ushering today. We're gonna make some nice for Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all the visiting friends this morning, and even those that are watching us live over the year today, we just want to give you thanks today. And we welcome you that you watch us and that somebody will get healed, somebody will get saved in Jesus' name today. Hallelujah. Little children, we welcome you today. Even myself, I welcome today. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. We're gonna sing this little refrain. He is here, hallelujah. You can stand. He is here, amen. He is here, holy, holy. Every 
give out those because I'm coming with another one. Praise God. The name of the song is All, All Ail the Power of Jesus Name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Oh, I think everybody should know it anyhow. It's a it's a song that, you know, bless the name of Jesus. It's not the one on the paper. Bless the name of Jesus. All in the power of Jesus' name, let angel prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diamond and cry.
we praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a proud name, our royal diamond. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Today we're going to worship today. Hallelujah. This other little song, I don't know if you all know it, but it is a blessing. Hallelujah. It's you have your sheets with you. Yes. Hallelujah. It is saying, yes. God is here. And that he will bless us. No. No. Hmm? Yes, six. God is here. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm going to give you the chorus first so you will have an idea how the, the verses operate. Let him come, O oh Lord, we pray thee. Let the showers of blessing fall. Ear. I don't know it that ear. I don't know it that ear, Pastor. That's why I was singing the um, the chorus so you will get a, a, a grip of what's going on. Let him come, O oh Lord, we pray thee. Let the showers of blessing fall. We are waiting, we are waiting, oh revive our oh, hearts of all. God is here and that to bless us with the Spirit's quickening power. See the cloud already bending, wings to draw. Let him come, oh Lord, we pray thee, let the shadow of blessing fall. We are waiting, we are waiting, oh revive our hearts of God is here.
Sunday again and we are going to read our scripture for the day but we are going to do it a little different from you know how bless the name of Jesus hallelujah and so whoever is going to come up here to read it you're just going to follow hallelujah until minister come then you join in hallelujah Everybody understand? Bless the name of God. We are, we are going to call our scripture reading today is coming from First Sam, First Kings 11. And we are going to call to the mic at this time our dear Brother Cooper. Hallelujah. Husher Cooper. Hallelujah. Receive him in Jesus' name. Shall we praise the Lord? It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You're looking so wonderful down there. Would you please, everyone, please stand, please? Even if you don't have a Bible, please stand. Everyone, please. Sleepy heads, stand up, please. Thank you. We'll be reading from 1 King chapter 11. Is everyone there? Amen. 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 Thus read. But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh. Women of Moabites, Ammonites, Enomites, and Zodians, and Hittites of the nation concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, he shall not go in, th in to them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. 
Solomon cleaves unto these in love, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines. And his wife turned away his heart. For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Astoreth, the goddess of the Zodia, Zodia the Zidion, Zid, Zidonians, after Malcolm, the abomination of Ammon, Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord, as did David his father. Then did Solomon build an high place for Chemish, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem. And for Moloch, the abomination of the children of Ammon, and the likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burn incense and sacrifice unto their gods. Amen. And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned from the Lord of, of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods. But he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statue, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and I will give it to thy servant. Notwithstanding, in thy days will I not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of thy son. How be it? I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David my servant's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. And the Lord stirred up an adversary unto Solomon, Habab, the Ebonites. He was a king seeds in Edom. And it came to pass And it came to pass, for it came to pass when David was in Edom, and Job, the captain of the host, was gone up to bury the slain, after he had seen every male in Edom. For six months did Job remain there with all Israel, until he had cut off every male in Edom. And Hadad said, He had certain Hamonites of his father's servant with him to go into Egypt, had that been yet a little child. And they arose out of Midian and came to Paran, and they took men with them out of Paran, and they came to Egypt, and to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, which gave him an house and appointed him victual and gave him land. And Hadad found great favor in the sight of Pharaoh so that he gave him to wife, the sister of his own wife, the sister of Tapens, the queen. And the sister of Tapens bare him Ginebad, his son, which Tapens went in Pharaoh's house, and Ginebad was in Pharaoh's household among the sons of Pharaoh. And when Hadad heard in Egypt that David slept with his fathers, and that Job, the captain of the host, was dead, Hadad said to Pharaoh, Let me depart, that I may go to mine own country. Then Pharaoh said unto him, But what hast thou locked? 
with me, that behold, thou seekest to go to thine own country. And he answered nothing. How be it me go in an otherwise? And God, and God stirred him up another adversary, Rezon, the son of Eliadeth, which fled from his lord, Hardadat Berzor, king of Zoban. And he gathered men unto him and become captain over a band. When David slew them of Zidavan, and they went to Damascus and dwelt therein, and reigned in Damascus. And he was, a, he was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon, beside the mischief that Adadad did. And he abhorred Israel and reigned over Syria. And Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and Ephratit, the Zeradat, Solomon's servant, whose mother name was Zeruiah, a widow woman, even he lifted up his hand against the king. And this was the cause that he lifted up his hand against the king. Solomon built Milo and repaired the breaches of the city of David his father. And the man, and the man Jeroboam, was a mighty man of valor. And Solomon, seeing the young man that he was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charges of the house of Joseph. And it came to pass, and it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam, Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet of Ajaya, the Shilmite, found him in this way. And, and he had clad himself with a new garment. And they too were all alone in the field. And Adelijah caught the new garment that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. And he said to Jehoram, take thee 10 pieces of this, thus said the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give 10 tribes to thee. But but he shall not but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes. Praise the Lord. Out of all the tribes. Praise the Lord. But ye shall have one tribe for thy servant David's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribe of Israel, because that they have forsaken me, and have worshipped Astoreth the goddess of the Adonians, Chemosh the god of the Moabites, and Milcon the god of the children of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in mine eyes, and to keep my statutes and my judgment as did David his father. Albeit I will not take the old kingdom out of the hand, out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David my servant's sake, whom I have chosen, because he kept my commandment and my statutes. <coughs> but I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and will give it unto thee even ten tribes. And unto his son will I give one tribe, that David my servant may have a light always before me in Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen me to put my name there. And I will take thee, and thou shalt reign according to all that they, thy soul desireth, and shall be king over Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to all read together. 
38 to the end. And it came to, and, it, and if thou will hearken unto all that I, everybody, everybody we're going to read together. Amen. And it shall be, if thou will hearken unto all that I commanded thee, and will walk in thy ways, and do that is right in sight, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant did, that I will be with thee, and build thee a sure house, as I built for David, and will give Israel unto thee. And I will for it afflict the seed of David, but not forever. Solomon sought therefore to kill Jeroboam, and Jeroboam arose and fled into Egypt unto Shisha, king of Egypt, and was in Egypt unto the death of Solomon. And the rest of the acts of Solomon, and all that he did, and his wisdom, are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon? And the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was forty years. And Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. And we honor the word by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be. Word, our word without end, and all God's wonderful people say, Amen. Moderator. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise, the Lord. praise him one more time. Praise, praise God. We're going to call upon Deacon Hutchison to welcome you today. Praise we praise the Lord. Praise, praise God. Lord. First, I must welcome the Holy Spirit, the head of our life, my life. Praise God. I must ask, is there anyone for the first time? In the house of the Lord, could you please stand? Give me your name and who invited you. Is there a first or second person? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give me your name, please, and who invited you. Okay, my name is Paulette McLaughlin, and Sister Yvonne Chambers invited me. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Brianna, and my mother invited me. Hi, my name is Kayla, and my mom invited me. Richard Brown, um, please invite me. Hello. Praise God, hallelujah. May I ask you, is your mom, please? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we praise the Lord, praise, praise God, God, hallelujah. We praise God. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. We praise God. And I know it couldn't be a... We praise God. I'm sorry. Praise God. My <coughs> sorry. This is my first visit here. My name is Cecil Feldman. I was invited by one of your members, Beryl, and, <coughs> and uh, for me, of course, uh, coming from the outside, this is an amazing experience. I really appreciate being able to be here with you and see you, see your congregation. Thank you very much. Praise God. We praise God. We praise God. It's a pleasure to have you, sir to have each and every one of you for the first time, second time. And I must say I welcome you all in behalf of my pastor that was on the keyboard, Dr. D.C. Chambers, co-founder, founder and co-founder, his wife, Minister Chambers, we praise God, and to all deacons, ministers, I must say to eat to everybody, everybody, I welcome you all. We praise God. It's kind of hard to keep calling names. Amen. So let us say to all the saints in Christ, we welcome you all. And I pray and hope that it won't be your first time.
time. We praise God. And I must apologize, you know, for those that is watching over the year. Maybe it could be a first time person watching us. We praise God. I welcome you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us well get up and start to get familiar with everybody and say, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's amazing what praises can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's amazing what praises can do. Armstrong, Monica Armstrong to her podium now. She's going to give us a short exaltation. Lord, 
everyone. Praise the Lord again, everyone. Today is Usher Sunday. And with the presence of the Lord in this place, we are going to have a glorious time. Oh, hallelujah. Greetings to the Father who is the head of my life. The one who has brought me, the one who is the one who has let me stand here this morning in front of you. He has been my refuge, he has been my strength, he has been everything to me. I give him honor, I give him praise this morning. Greetings to my pastors, Pastor Delroy Chambers, Pastor Yvonne Chambers, and all you wonderful saints in the mighty name of Jesus. My topic this morning is consequences of disobedience. It is taken from 1 Kings chapter 11, 1 to 3. Solomon, it is an it is entitled of Solomon. Solomon had the opportunity to commune with God. He asked God for wisdom and understanding. God blessed him with everything and more. Solomon became disobedient to God after a while. You know, in the Bible, it tells us that Solomon, when Solomon asked God for everything, God gave it to him because he was a man after, God, after his own heart, depending on God and believing in anything that God has said. The love of this world and the pleasures has produced a state of mental darkness and caused the grace of God to desert him. Solomon loved many strange women. All these tribes, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Edomites, the Dizions, the Zidonians, and the Etitites. All these tribes were heathen. They had idolatry practices. They were from different nations. The Lord told Israel they should not mix with these tribes. Solomon loves them dearly. He has many riches. So many women were drawn to them, were drawn to him. The love of these women make him lose out with God. Today, are you going to let anything, the love of anything, let you lose out with God? Because of his disobedience, God gave him a warning which he did not take to, which he did not took to. He became a foolish king and did not obey God's warning. And he lose out, he lost everything that God has planned for him. In today's world, we as Christians, if we are not careful, we too can lose out with God. The love of this world, the things of this world can cause us to lose out with God. It can be a man friend, sex, girlfriend, and things that cause us to sin. Things we think we can't live without. We forgot that there is a God, that there is a God who brought us to where we are today. We forget God's goodness, his love, and his grace for us. We lose our way, our blessings. The Bible tells us that disobedience is like the sin of witchcraft. These things does not happen overnight. It takes time. When we come out of under the coverage of God, that is what happened to us. The coverage of God, the presence of God, we lose everything, especially our peace of mind, oh God. Mark 8, verse 36 states, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Because of the love of women, Solomon lose everything with God. Our weakness can allow us to lose out of the presence of God. The loss of eyes, the pride of life, it becomes the norm. It does not affect you. You are falling from grace with God. Solomon gifts of wisdom was not sufficient to preserve him from falling into sin. He needed to follow the commandments of God. In today's life, 
if we do not follow the commandments of God, if we do not eat to God's word, we are going to lose out from under the coverage. And under the coverage, we have to stay under the coverage of God. Because without God, it's impossible. Without God, it is impossible. We cannot make it. We cannot go. We cannot go without God. Because with God, all things are possible. In conclusion, do not allow yourself to be get to that position where you are comfortable in sin. You do things every day and you take it takes time. You started to do it little by little. And then after a while you get comfortable in sin in sin. It's seasoning your skin that you know when you think say it's all right, it's not right with God. It's not right. That you fall out of the grace and lose all your coverage. It does not worth it. It does not worth it. Trust me, it does not worth it. To God be the glory. He yeah. said, Lord, sing this song with me, please. Lord, we sing, we're going to sing, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, we don't want God to do it without us. We want to stay under the covering of God. No matter what it takes, let us stay under the covering of God. Lord, whatever you're doing, work on strong for these encouraging words today and let us not take it light this today hallelujah and for this time we're gonna have our announcement for the week praise the name so our announcer is gonna come to us today praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord everyone come on ushers praise the lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. When we go to heaven, we ain't need no mic, eh? Amen. Now we're going to use our voices and praise God. Amen. Just fitting in for the announcer. Greetings to the church. Welcome, visitors. Welcome to everyone that are in the house today. Can we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Can we raise holy hands and lift up Jesus? Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, say somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, glory to your name, God. And some look on somebody and say, he's worthy to be praised. Praise the name of the Lord. So ask somebody, did you have a good week last week? Don't, don't bother wait for the answer, because time is going. Praise the name of the Lord. We're located at 455 Rogers Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, and our zip code is one one two two five. Our contact number is three four seven four three five three five three two. Our order of service thus Sunday at nine thirty should be nine thirty AM is our Sunday school, followed by our our divine worship at eleven. And some of us, including myself, was rebuking ourselves this morning we coming so late to Sunday school, but if you pray for us, we'll be here for 9.30. Amen? Oh, Jesus. Amen. Just pray for me then, that I will be here for 9.30. I, 
at 7.30 p.m. Our pastor says 7 is there. At 7 p.m. on Sundays in the night, somebody says 7 p.m. Somebody say to 9.30 p.m. It's our youth night, and this is where the youth comes and they fellowship. And if you are, the youth is from um, 4 to 94, so you can, everybody is included. Can I get an amen for that? Amen. So we are all included to come from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And when you come, please, I'm begging you, I'm exploring, I'm beseeching you, I'm asking you. I'm almost going down on my knees. Don't sit on this side. Please go sit on this side. <laughs> Can somebody say amen? amen? Sister Marsha, tell them to sit on this side for me. Huh? Don't, don't, don't. It's the wrong side. You see where Mr. Dawkins is? Mr. Dawkins, stand. Stand, Mr. Dawkins. In the name of Jesus, this is the side. I'm begging you, I'm, ex I'm imploring you, I'm beseeching you. This is the right side. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. It, it, when this is full, you can. <coughs> On Mondays at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. is men's fellowship and we're asking all the men, young men, old men, made it, old men, young men in between 21, 25, 24, 25. 18, 12. We're asking you to come out and support the meetings. And they share the word and they fellowship after. And they pray. Amen? Amen. All the men, those who wear, I always say, trousers. You know yourself. On Tuesday night at 7 p.m. is our prayer meeting, and we begin exactly at 7, and it goes on to 8 p.m., and then at 8 to 9.30 is our Bible study, and Minister Dawkins has been teaching us, and last week we learned about the, the Holy Spirit, and we're asking you all to come out to learn the word so that we can be equipped to fight the enemy. Amen? Amen. Please share the word to your friends. If they are unable to attend our service on Sundays, they can watch us. They can watch us at www.rtpdeliverance.org. We can also be seen on BCAT TV every Monday at 9, I'm not seeing 9 here, at 4.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Cable Vision Channel 69, Time Warner Channel 56, RCN Channel 48, Verizon FIOS Channel 4. Those that are recently baptized, you are asked to join Minister Chambers at 9.45 a.m. for new members class. Also, those that have been coming for several weeks and would love to be a member of this church, you can also attend the meeting. Faith is inviting you to their rally right here which, be, which will held, be held on Sunday, the 26th of September. Saturday, the 26th of September, 2015, at 7 p.m. Please join us for an evening of worship and fun. Our youth president, stand youth president. That's our youth president. Come on, give it up for her. Don't, don't, please, you know, you must give me that look, smile. So if don't take any picture, you can. <laughs> Evangelist Marsha Dunstan. Oh, somebody say, oh. oh. As informed us that she will be relocating to Florida. Somebody say, mm. oh. Effective October 31st. Oh. As the Lord has led her. 
to show our appreciation for all her dedication and commitment to the ministry and the youth department. We would like to have an appreciation service for her on October the 25th. If there are any changes on her behalf, the congregation will be informed. So our president will be relocating and uh, we're gonna miss her. Don't start crying yet, please. Nobody would cry yet. And um, the, appreciation, the appreciation service will be on, somebody say October 25th? October 25th. Come on. You hear Sister Dottie? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want she go, so you're not saying October 20th. Okay. <laughs> wow. <coughs> that one, that, that, that's one of the big pills that are hard to swallow sometimes. Wow. Somebody say wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pastor is encouraging the brethren to make an effort to attend the prayer meetings and Bible studies on Tuesdays. Tithes and offering. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. Thought of the week. Spending time with God is the key to our strength and success in all areas of life. Be sure that you never try to work God into your schedule. I'm in agreement with that one, 110%. But always work your schedule around him. Could I repeat that? Spending time with God is the key to our strength and success in all areas of our life. Be sure that you never try to work God into your schedule, but always work your schedule into God's time. Amen? Amen. So with this, we come to the end of our announcement, and I trust that you will not only bear them in mind, do something about what you hear. Amen? God Amen. bless you. And we need you to bear all these announcements in mind. And as our minister says, even if you are 90, you are still a youth. I am the youngest youth inside here. Amen. So, Amen. I mean, if I'm the youngest one, then you all need to come, okay? Praise the Lord. This is the best another time that we are going to show God how much we love him. Hallelujah. He gives us the strength to work, yes. so therefore we have to give our tithes and our offering. Yes. So we are going to stand today to do the pledge, and we are going to pray over the offering today. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks today. God, we just want to give you all the glory for your health and for your strength today. God, we thank you for the jobs and better jobs today. We thank you, Father God, that you are the God that give us the health and the strength to work today. And so, Lord, as we come today, God, to give you back a portion of what you have blessed us with, oh God, we pray, divine God, that it will do good for your ministry, oh God, and that those that do not have to give today, God, you will Oh God, open doors for them that they too will have, oh God, to give at the next time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And bless those, oh God Almighty. Oh, if nobody here, they will send their donation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, bless and sanctify this offering now in Jesus' name. Praise God. You're going to hold. You're going to hold your tithes and your offering. I want everybody to stand. Hallelujah. When you go to the job, you, it's only sometime you can sit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. You're going to repeat after me the tithes and the offering pledge. It said, as we give to, in today's offering, we believe, the Lord for. we believe the Lord for jobs and better jobs, jobs, and better jobs. Raises, and raises and bonuses, 
benefits, benefits. sales and commissions, benefits. settlements, benefits. estate and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and return, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, bills pays off, debt demolish, royalties receive, soul saves, and body zeal. It's offering time. It's given time in the name of Jesus. Praise God. The ush follow the direction of the ushers, please. When we get to glory land, Christ will hold us by. Part of the Usher team will now come as we have a selection from them. Praise God. This is our Sister Marsha Debu. Praise God. Debu. De, 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 de the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. All my life long, I had planted for a dream from some queen that I hope would quench the burning of the faith. I had with him. Oh, 
it was almost gone. Love my soul for something better. Only still to hunger on. Oh, hallelujah, I have found him. Oh, my soul, so long as grave. Jesus said, Come on, everybody. Open your mouth. Let's give him praise and worship. Hallelujah. I have found him. If you found the Lord to be a friend, a savior, come on, let's magnify the Lord. If you are praise here, did you bring your worship? Did you bring your praise? Did you bring your praise? Come on, all those that can hear, give God praise. If you are breathing this afternoon, come on, celebrate his goodness. Come on, lift those hands in his presence, everybody. Come on, lift those hands in his presence, everybody, and give God a praise. If you have two hands, it is working. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 I have found him. Oh, hallelujah. Remain standing. Reach across. I said, neighbor, it's good to see you in church today. Come on, tell somebody. Reach across and tell your neighbor, it's good to see you in church today. Despite how you look, despite how you feel, despite what's going on, it's good to see you in church today. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And grab that Bible space. I want to greet all the ministers, my wife. Amen. I want to greet Minister Dawkins. Amen. Minister Douglas. I think you're viewing us, Minister Douglas. I greet you. You're at work. Amen. I think. Amen. Praise the name of Lord Evangelist. Dean is in Jamaica, and I think she may be watching us in Jamaica also. Brother Orville is in the hospital viewing me right now. I greet you. I said I would pray for you. Viewing us, I'm going to pray for you. Not long from now, Brother Orville is in the hospital before D North. I believe in the Lord for him. Amen. I want to thank God for all those of you who are here today. Those coming for the first time, second time, third time. I want to thank God for Denise and her children that don't remember me. Amen. I'm just to pick them up. Amen. So the morning time. I'll, I'll hug them up to and all of that and they don't remember me. My, my wife and myself is a go for them. And the girls are big now. Come on out here, girls. Come on out here. Come on out here. Come on out here. Amen. The girls so much now. I mean, I, I would probably pass them on the road and recognize them. Mr. Karen, man, hug me up. <laughs> Remember the diamond? Remember the diamond? Remember the diamond? You remember the diamond? This is single leg, Jesus Christ. That's diamond. Remember the diamond? Boy, I love to pray for them. <laughs> Amen. Glad you all are here today. My wife used to my wife used to teach them. Amen. At the children's choir. Amen. Right there. At and also Kimo was in the children's choir too. Amen. And um so you remember Kimo? You remember you remember Kimo, you there? Know? The girl so much now. Amen. Bless the mother Lord. It's good to see you all here today. I need to, I want, I want you to go on the YouTube and look at the video with you all singing, all right? You, you see you all there singing. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know Deacon Campbell, you have an exhortation also, right? So you're going to come and bring your exhortation. Please make Deacon Campbell welcome in Jesus' name. Then I come back to you with the word from the Lord. Somebody give God a praise in the house. The Lord move in mysterious ways. It's wonderful to perform. Somebody say amen. Make the can come away. First, I greet the Holy Spirit with the spirit of truth, spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I greet Pastor Chambers, Minister Chambers, Minister Dawkins, my mother, Minister Edwards, Amen. you wonderful saints in Christ. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. The scripture is taken from 1 Kings chapter 11, from verse 4 to 11. And the topic is the consequences of turning away from sin. Amen. Solomon was appointed by God as king over Israel to succeed his father David. Yes. He also appointed Solomon to build the temple which David wanted to. King Solomon interceded not just for himself but for Israel. God gave him more than what he prayed for because he didn't pray selfishly. Praise God. God is omniscient with perfect knowledge. He knew although King Solomon had perfect wisdom, without God he would act foolishly because the wisdom of man is foolishness to God. Amen. God gave man choices whether to follow the pleasures of the world or to deny himself of what the world have to offer and to follow him. The wise King Solomon chose to follow God. Some years later, his encounter with, with God, King Solomon allowed evil through idolatry to creep into his life. Just as animals can be drawn away by their bait, to their death by attractive baits, temptation promised Solomon something good, which is actually harmful and impure desire. Solomon, Solomon healed to temptation which causes his heart to walk stronger and stronger to the lust of the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Therefore, this practice causes his love for God to wax cold. Yes. L Praise God. Yes. Lust is a strong desire of the human soul to enjoy or acquire something to fulfill the human flesh. Yes. Man's falling nature of the propensity 
to strongly desire whatever sin will satisfy it. When sin is conceived, it gives birth to I repeat. When desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it gives bring forth death. Sin is not merely a spontaneous act, but the result of a process. It is similar to the process of physical conception and birth. Desire follows this similar sequence and produces sin, hallelujah, which all its result, deadly result. Like King Solomon, Christian who does not consider the cost of their salvation will allow sin to creep into their lives. Therefore, the flesh have no desire to praise God. The Bible said, love not the world, neither the things of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. Dearly beloved, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The spirit lusteth against the flesh, and the flesh against the spirit. And these are contrary one towards another, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Dearly beloved, let me admonish you. The Bible said, all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. This is not of the Father, but is of the world. Solomon did evil in the sight of God. He does not worship God anymore from a true heart. God in one and an idolatry in the other. One cannot worship God while clinging to the pleasures of this world. How oh, long art you between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. Yeah. If you choose to serve me, I'll follow him. Yeah, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, yeah. holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yeah. Do not be conformed to this world. Be transformed by the ruin, renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Christians, wake up, be sober, take heed to the word of God. We can forge our head in, with, in the elements of Satan, demonic force without the word. We can't walk, we can't fight without the word, our whole arm of God. We need the anointing to forge our head in the face of Satan, demonic forces. We need the anointing to occupy the fort. Hallelujah. Do you need the anointing to stay under the blood? Lay aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Call him up. Jesus is not dead. He ain't even sick. Hallelujah. Be sober. Don't allow idolatry to creep into the church. Christians are being swept along with the tide of the world in these last days. When sin creep into the church, worship service is heavy. You complain that you are boring. How can Christian be bored? Like Solomon, our walk, our conversation, our worship, please God. We spend quality time before him in the spirit of humility. He baptized us with fire. He baptized us with a double portion of his anointing, accompanied with wisdom, knowledge, and strength with might. He also gave us power to tread upon serpents and carp scorpions. He gave us ser we got serious about our salvation and even crazy, chased crazy demons out of our lives. Like Solomon, we hold the fort with confidence, offer sacrifices of worship unto God. Now we became drunk and sleepy with contentment, embracing idolatry. Be sober, occupy the fort, and do allow sin to creep into your lives. God gave Solomon rest from wars. Solomon didn't have to fight the enemies. God gave him peace. You might be praying for years about a situation. The moment God answered your prayer and gave you your desire, you know you are going to cease from praying because you think it's peace and safety. When you look around and see others' prayers being answered, you ask the question, what about me? 
Sometimes the things you prayed for might become idols in your life. God knows sometimes what you are praying for might become idleness. Idle hands are the devil play playground. The moment Christians have peace, they will cease from praying. Warfare calls Christian to fight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Warfare calls Christian to pray and see God's face. Solomon prayed years ago. God answers his prayers and bless him. Solomon had lifted up with pride and marriage strange women who rejected God. King Solomon had what it cost to live a luxurious life. Now he ceased from praying. Jesus said, men ought always to pray and not faint. The king had a desire in his heart. When desire is conceived, it brings forth sin. When sin is fully grown, it brings forth death. Solomon actually gave into a harmful, impure desire and erect monuments. He offered sacrifices to idols in the result of spiritual death. The king worship is not polluted. It is evil. Solomon, the king of Israel, built polluted as altars just to please others. If you walk in the course of the ungodly, they will impose on you their man-made philosophy. Hallelujah. Sometimes Solomon pleases his wives by offering sacrifices to idols. Today, many Christians are tolerating almost anything for the sake of pleasing others. They compromise for the sake of money. More church members, praise God, success and honor. They want to have a league with King Fira. They built, they want to have a league with King Fira. They build in the sight of the most high God an altar dedicated to Chemosh just to please Pharaoh's daughter. Abstain from all appearance of evil. The evil you enjoy today will bite you. Yes. Hallelujah. What are the consequences of turning away from God and allowing these pleasures Satan offered to creep into our lives? My dear beloved, be careful whom you try to please. King Solomon pleases his wives and displeases God. God is going to extend his wrath on Christians who reject the truth. God will cut you off from his kingdom, sweet Beulah land. He will cast you out in the sight of darkness. Dearly beloved, Jesus is coming for his bride. If you are not wearing your wedding garment, you will be cast out into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The consequences of sin is death. The wages of sin, the wages of sin is death, and the soul that sin shall surely die. My conclusion, my dearly beloved, flee idolatry. Let your heart therefore be loyal to the Lord your God. Walk in the statutes and keep his commandment as of this day. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Tremendous word of exhortation. Come on, give God thanks. Hallelujah. Now stand one more time, everybody. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Your blessing, brother. Thank God. Thank God. Let's give heed to the word of God. I want you to go with me to judges. And this is the, this these two exhortations uh, just match up which I'm about to share with us today. Can somebody say hallelujah? Greetings. I did say I'm going to pray for Brother Aubrey. So we're going to pray for him right now. He's watching us in Kings County Hospital. They have gone inside of his lungs. He's not breathing properly. I have a breathing problem right now. They, they did it and they said they're going back in. And so I want to pray for him right now. All right, everybody, could we just pray for his, the God's servant. Father, we commit Lord Orville Campbell to you now. Lord, in King's County Hospital, oh God, you know what's going on in his body. Lord, we're asking you right now uh, that you visit him uh, in that hospital. Rabo right now, God, we bind the plans of the enemy. Satan, the Lord God rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you now. We cripple your plans. We paralyze them and we bring them to naught. Breathe one more time, God visit that room right now and Lord we thank you for the victory we thank you for the victory we thank you for the victory 
in Jesus' name. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Let the church say in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Judges chapter 16. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I do that, I want to pray. I want the prayer mothers to come out here. Come, prayer mothers. Come, prayer mothers. Come, prayer department. Come. Amen. Just form a circle, please. Form a circle. Form a circle. Amen. Come here, Sister Chanel. Come, 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 come beloved. Come. Come right in this ring here. Amen. I want you all to hold hands. When the hand of the Lord is on somebody's life, they are targeted by the enemy. The Lord said to Peter, I've prayed for you. Satan has desired to sift you as wheat. But I've prayed for you that your faith fail not. Peter didn't see anything. And at one point when, when he said, Lord, I, I go all the way. But God knows the future. God knows what is ahead of us. And we're going to pray for Sister Chanel today. God's hand is upon her life. But God is showing me that the devil wants to destroy her. So we want to pray for her today. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Begin to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring forth your child, your daughter, your servant before you now. Lord, we know what you bless Satan want to mess it up, Lord God. Lord, I've been showing us, Lord God. Oh God, not just one person, God. Lord, what the devil want to destroy this young lady. And so Rabashi In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan, we come against your plans, your activities. We bring them to naught. She will serve. God, she worship God. Every plan you have against her life, the church is in agreement, and we bind them now, and we cancel them now. In Jesus' name, God, surround her with your angels. Oh God Almighty, in the name of the Lord, when she drive, drive with her. When she go in the office, go with her. Lord God, put the right people in her life. In Jesus' name. We know you have called her. We know you have anointed her, God. Lord Jesus, Mabasha Kandarabosi, he can be under her. He can she can In the name of Jesus, we pray right now. You put your blood, you mark her, seal her for yourself, for your purpose, for your glory. Satan, you cannot touch her. You cannot touch her. The Lord God rebuke you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is against you. We cancel your plans. We bring them to naught. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, dispatch angels, dispatch angels, dispatch angels, angels to the right, angels to the left, angels in front, angels behind, angels above, angels beneath. See the God. Sila God, Abo Shandrebe, Mako Shikin Rebusim, Baba Shikiri the end of In the name of, come on, somebody give God some praise. Come on, somebody give God some Baba Shaka the Rebusim. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise, somebody. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Shandrebe, come on, church of God. I said, give God some praise, people of God. Let the church just begin to worship God. Let the people of God just give God worship. Give God worship. Give God worship. Come on, give him praise. 
Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Come on, give him praise, people of God, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give God praise, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise, give God praise. Come on, give him praise, give him praise. Come on, give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the church just worship God. Let the church worship God. Let the people of God worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elobo Shanderebe. Bashiki Ribi Enderebe. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just give God some more praise. Come on, worship us. Those that come to, not everybody come to church to worship, but those that come to worship, I want you to lift your hands. All those who come to worship God, come on, lift your hands. Stand on your, if you come to worship God, if you're not sick, stand on your feet and lift your hands above your head. Come on, shut out everybody, shut out everything, and give God some praise in the house. There is an anointing, there is an anointing, there is an anointing for Falling, hallelujah! Mbebe oshande debe, masha kanda rabosi. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some more praise. Come on, people of God. Let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord have his way. Come on, let's give God some praise. This is a new day. This is a new day. There is an anointing. There is an anybody want a fresh anointing? Anybody want a fresh anointing? There is an anointing. There is an anointing in the house. There is an anointing in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name. Jesus, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, somebody clap your hands for the Lord. Put those hands together for the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Masha Kanda Rabosi, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Ghost, we welcome. Somebody welcome the Holy Ghost. Somebody just welcome the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody welcome the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Hallelujah. 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 Judges 16. Hallelujah to God. If you can stand, stand with me. Let the Lord march a candlebox sit. Let the labo shandere be mande kenara bosi. Come here, sister Bev. Let me lay my Holy Ghost hand on you. Come over here. Basha, give me some olive oil, honey. Bashi kenara bosi. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Yelo bo shandere be. Somebody give God some praise here. Give God some praise here. Me lift your hands up, sister. Hallelujah. Everything that come against your body, we come against it today. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, can anybody feel the? Holy Ghost. Can somebody feel the whole Basha can de be man de be can see she can da rabo see in the name of Basha and come stand behind her. You can come Baba she can da rabo see in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever come against your body, we curse it from the root. Ma she can da rabo see Lord God rabo shende be right now. I pray that the power of God will overshadow her as the Holy Ghost overshadow Mary. I pray right now you overshadow. Shadow, this woman of God, we reverse, we reverse every plot, everything that want to affect your body. We plead the blood. Somebody said the blood. Somebody said the blood of Jesus. Let the church say that. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God! Fire in your body, fire in your body, from your head to your feet. Flush out everything. Flush it out, Holy Ghost. Flush it out. Masha Kandarabo. Flush out. Flush out. My God. Somebody just, there is a wave of anointing in this house. Masha Kandarabo. 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 Masha Kandarab
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Never the same after today. Never the same after. Oh, God. Every joint in her body, every tissue, every cell in her body, every organ in this body, line up with the word of God. Line up with the word of God. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. Mm, by God, somebody love the Lord. Jesus. Hello, Bo Shandi Rebe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Judges. Judges. Saba Shakandarabosi. Judges 16. Judges. God, 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 God. Mm. Come, brother Chris. Feel like to come here. Come, come here. Come down here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come, prayer mothers. Come, lay hands. I want to say I have pain in his back. Come. Let's believe God. We were here praying Friday night. Those of us who are here praying, believing God for great things today. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Come prayer department. Church on toward this young man. Whatever is happening, we are believing the Lord to touch him. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, right now. Everybody say right now. Rabbi right now. Everybody say right now, right now. Lord God, fix what need to be fixed in this body now, God. I pray you lay your hand upon Brother Christopher. Dark kings, Rimo, Shenderebe, Rako Robo, In the name of Jesus, Lord, breathe at him, Lord. As you breathe on the disciples and said, receive the Holy Ghost. We breathe on him now, the breath of God, and that he shall be well. Every part of his being shall be well. In Jesus' name, you fix what needs to be fixed in this young man's body, Lord. We are believing now, God. You touch him right now, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, son, and let's give God some praise. Come on, let's open one and give him praise. Give him Baba Shaka and the see. He can be beyond the rubber. Hallelujah! Be delivered and set free. Somebody give him praise in the house. Good God. I'm glad I'm in church. I'm glad I'm in church. I'm glad I'm in church at the right church too. At the right place, at the right time, where the anointing is falling. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Judges 16 of Sister Mary watching me in Canada. I hope you're watching. If you're not at church, hope you're watching, Sister Mary. You're going to Canada. Amen. Hope you're watching me there. Hallelujah. And it came to pass, Judges 16, verse 4, and it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorex, whose name was Delilah. And the Lord of the Philistine came up. Oh, my, shake him. That, oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. The anointing is in the house, people of God. The anointing is here. And the Lord of the Philistine came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him and see where in his great strength lie, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him and we will give the every one of us 1100 pieces of silver and the Lala said to Samson tell me I pray thee where in thy great strength lieth and wherewith thou mightest be bound go to God hallelujah to afflict thee holy ghost and Samson unto her if they bind me with seven green whisks that were never tried then shall I be weak and be as another man then the Lord of Philistine brought up to her seven green wits which had not been dried and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait abiding with her in the chamber and she said unto him the Philistine be upon thee Samson and he break the wits as a tread of toe as broken with the touch of touch with, when it touched the fire so his strength was not 
known. And let's skip over for sake of time to verse 23. The, the Lord of Philistine gathered them together for, to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon their God. And to rejoice for they said, Our God had delivered Samson, our, our enemy, in our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised their God. For they said, Our God had delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country, which slew many of us. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry that they said, Call for Samson that he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house, and he made them sport. And they set him between the pillars. And Samson unto the Lord that held him by the hand, suffer me that I may feel the pillars where upon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the Lord of Philistine were there, and there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that behold, beheld while Samson made sport. Verse 28. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O oh Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, all of this once, O oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistine for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up, of the one with his right hand and the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistine. And he bowed himself with all his might. And the house fell upon the Lord and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew in at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Father, thank you for your word today. We know, Lord, you are here because we feel your presence, your anointing. Is in the house. Have your way today. We ask you even now. Give clarity upon your word. In Jesus name. Before you take your seat. I want you. This is my team. Somebody say Lord. Lord I, have up, I have messed up. But touch me again. Touch me again. Lord, Lord. I have messed up. I have messed up but touch me again. Now put down your Bibles and put your hands together and give God a praise in the house and take a seat. It's remarkable for the two exhortations which came earlier and what each person was sharing. It means then, church of God, that the Lord is saying something to his people. You are his people. The Bible said we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Is there a church here this afternoon? Can somebody give God a praise here? The Bible said whom he loveth, he chasteneth. And God only chasing you if you do something wrong. There is no good parents that will flood their children of doing something good. You encourage the child, keep on doing good. But if the parents know that that child has done something wrong and recognize that's a proper child, they'll do something to correct the child to bring them back online. Can you give God a praise in the house? Good God Almighty, there's so much anointing in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know some of us, we are familiar with Samson because the way Samson came about, his mother named Manoah, father Manoah, amen, that the wife was barren and she was out in the field and God sent an angel to her and told her that she would have a child and God gave specific instruction to this woman what the child should be named, what the child should do and what the parents should do. Can you give God a praise? Somebody in the house. That's Judges chapter 13. The Bible said, Hallelujah. And the child and the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistine 40 years. And there was a certain man of Zorah of the family of the Danites whose name was Manoah. Manoah and his wife was barren and bear not. So Manoah married to this woman and they had no child. 
while she was out in the field an angel came to her can I talk to somebody God is about to visit somebody when you least expect it to happen I said, God is about to visit somebody when you least expect it to happen. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the man and said unto her, Behold now, thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Tell somebody, conception is coming. Oh God, you don't understand. To death, my friend, I'm about to be conceived. I'm about to be give birth. I'm about to be deposited with something from the Lord. She was by herself. And the angel show up and says, God know that you're barren, but you will have a child. God is about to visit somebody. Even people think that we are barren in the spiritually. God is about to show up and to do something. Can somebody help me in the house and give God a praise? Is there anybody here that would love God to visit them in this service? Is there anybody here that is waiting on God for my for God to come and do something for you. Is there anybody here who have been praying for a change? Is there anybody here who wants a breakthrough? Is there anybody here who longs for a fresh touch from the hand of Almighty God? Well, God is about to give some, give some of us some surprises. Things we didn't expect to happen. God is about to show up and show you all. You are barren. Nothing not going on for you right now. But I'm here. <laughs> the angel showed up. Is there anybody feel that way today? It's like nothing not working for you. Oh God. It seemed like everybody else, I was one of the exhorters was saying, was getting banned. Nothing working for you. But God has a way to show up. And when he shows up, he has a way to bless you. Can you give God a praise? The angel said, you are barren, but you will have a child. And this is how the child should grow. The angel said to the man, drink nothing from the vine. Take no strong drink because the child will be a Nazarite from the womb. Somebody help me in the house. Hallelujah. And so the angel departed and she went and told her husband that a man of God came to her and told her these things. And the man of prayed again and said, Lord, let the man of God come back again. Somebody need to pray another prayer. You pray one time, pray again. Oh God, help me somebody. I said you pray last week, but pray again. You pray last year, but pray again. What is it you've been praying for? Don't stop praying. Tell somebody, don't stop now. We cannot quit now because the best is yet to come. Can I give God a praise? The woman went out in the field again. And the angel showed up. And she hasted to her husband and said, the man of God has come again. And man of said, are you the man that spoke to the woman? And he said, I am he. And he said, take heed to everything I've said to you. And I come to tell the church and those watching by means of YouTube, you stream, Facebook, be careful. Take heed to what God said. Can I preach to somebody? David said to Solomon, Solomon, my son, take heed to what God wanted you to do. He said, if you do what is right, then God will bless you. I come to tell somebody, take heed what the Holy Ghost is saying. Can you shout and give God a praise today? And so happened that Samson was born and he began to deliver Israel because the Philistine had Israel bound, otherwise in prison, captivity for 40 years. Hallelujah. But somebody was praying for God to send a deliverer. And God is about to send somebody in your path, in my path. Can you say yes? I said God is about to send somebody where we least expect it to happen. So Samson came on the scene and God started to use Samson. 
You got to be careful. Uh, whatever God bless, uh, got to watch where you go with the blessing. If the hand of the Lord is upon your life, you cannot do anything you feel like doing. Can I even say you cannot go anywhere or you should not go anywhere you feel like going? Because if there's a call of God upon your life, you got to watch where you step. Because the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Give somebody a high five and send neighbor, the step of a good man are ordered. I said give somebody a high five and say neighbor, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The question is today, who is ordering your step? The next question is, where are you stepping? Where are you stepping? Everybody stepping. But where are you stepping? And so we, we, we see here that, 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 that the man grew and God started to use the man. And, and one day, Samson went down to Timnath. And there he, he saw a woman that he loved. And, and, and fell in love with her. And came home and told her parents, there's a woman in Timnath that I love. Fetch her for me. Samson was traveling alone. Whenever you start to travel alone, watch it out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Because uh, the Bible said, when two meet, there is heat. And the Bible said, two is better than one. Can I talk to somebody? Everybody needs somebody in your life. I don't care who you are. You need somebody in your life. Jesus came from heaven. He had 12 disciples. And among the 12, there was three that was closer than the other nine. Peter, James, and John. They were called the inner circle. Everybody needs somebody. Say, never you need somebody. You may think you don't need a friend, but you need a friend. You may think that you don't need a friend, but you really need a friend. I'm talking about a friend. Not a friend in me, but a friend. A friend is one that will stand up with you in truth and righteousness. A friend will tell you when you go wrong and when you go right. A, a true friend doesn't compromise with you. Can I talk to somebody? A true friend will help you to get to the next level. Samson was always traveling alone. Went to Tim and found this Philistine woman and, and then he got married to her. You got to be careful when the Lord's hand is on your life. When, uh, when you came through special birth and God's hand, even when you got saved, everybody knows that this man or this woman is going to be special because the way you begin to operate, even in the sight of people, they know there's something about your life. God, help me somebody. They know that you carry an anointing. They know you are not an ordinary person. Somebody help me in this house and give God a praise. That is where you got to protect what God bless you with. Can Somebody shout hallelujah and said so the man got their mouth to this young girl. Hallelujah. He left for a time, went back, and he started they had a feast and he gave when he was going down as motherfucker. A lion attacked him, a young lion. Hallelujah. And the pierce didn't know. And he tore the two lion apart like just a piece of shred. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. Somebody said, Lord, raise your right hand and say, Lord, raise your Right on us, say, Lord, let your spirit come upon me mightily. Come on, somebody say, Lord, let your spirit come upon me as he came upon Samson. Come upon me, Holy Ghost. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost, come upon me. Anybody want the Holy Ghost? Come upon you today. Stand as the Holy Ghost. God, oh God. Stand as the Holy Ghost. Come upon me. I want to feel your power. Hallelujah. I want to feel your power. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Come on, somebody. Somebody give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, come upon me today. Hallelujah. And so, Recognize 
that he had victory. He went and he gave a top out, out of the strong comfort meat, out of the eater comfort strength. Hallelujah. He gave a parable. You got to be careful. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, be careful of parable. Be careful of eager jesting. Say, neighbor, be careful of eager jesting. Too many Christians eager jest too much. Can I talk to the church? We eager jest too much as Christians. The Bible says, your yay must be yay and your nay nay. We must get out of eager jesting. Matthew 12, 36. For every other word men shall speak, they shall give an account. In the day of judgment, watch your other words. He gave a riddle. And they couldn't solve it. And they said to Samson's wife, if you don't tell us the riddle, we kill you and kill your family. Yeah. And sometimes we can do things that put pressure on our relatives. Can do things that cause the church to come under, under pressure also. Can I talk to somebody? We can do things that cause the church to look bad at times. Can somebody get happy and give God a praise? You got to be careful what you say and what you do. I told people at one time that the ministry is more important than you. Amen. The ministry, not rescue the person. You have a ministry. And you have to take some lick and keep on moving. Can I talk to somebody because of what you're carrying? Can you say amen, church of God? And we know the story. He had to go and kill off something and give people them some clothes and all of that. Because he got involved in idle jesting. Be careful of what you're talking. So when Samson went down, and just for the sake of time, he found a woman in Zorax named Delilah. Strange woman like Solomon. They all knew what God said. They were not ignorant to the voice of God or to the word of God or to the testimony of the Lord. They were told not to get mixed up in stuff like that. And Solomon married 700 wives, 300 concubines plus princesses. Hallelujah. The man was living a life of trouble. He start to go down and in devotion, this man was saying, he never married even somebody from Israel. Read the Bible. Not if I Israel at our Judahites. The man married strange women. You got to be careful when you get involved with strange things that doesn't match up with the word of Almighty God. Somebody help me in his house and give her praise. Let me warn us as men. I said this morning devotion. I said to my wife and Sister Monica, I said pray for me too. Come on, you understand? I said, pray for me to that strange woman. What did I say, honey? About strange women, I don't get involved with strange women right beside them. Because if Solomon, who was so wise, gets such a, my God, talk to me, somebody. If Solomon, who was who visited by God two times, if he could get messed up, what about look at me? I need prayer from every side. I need to be fast in the Lord. For those of you who think you are strong, take heed lest thee fall. Call for prayer. If you think you're getting weak, if you think you're getting weak, call prayer. Pray your mothers, call the prayer department, pray for me. So I'm gonna pray for Pastor Chambers. Because women out there, deaconess. I said, women out there. When somebody gets a quiet, Mr. Women out there. Hallelujah. Oh God. Something was called. The man brought was special. Solomon was anointed, appointed, chosen by God. But he get messed up. I want to tell us men in church, keep our zip up. Can I talk to somebody? Men, keep your zip up. Can I talk to somebody? Lock your shop if you're married and wait till the right time come. If you're not married, keep your zip up. Because women can bring down men. Can I preach Bible to somebody? I said, women can bring down men. That's why brothers got to walk accordingly. Hallelujah. Walk according to the word. I don't think you're so strong. You want to be in a room with a girl like yourself. And when first to be in, what will you do? The Bible says, when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Can I preach Bible to this church today? When thou art spoiled, 
what will thou do? Whom will you blame? For if you don't want prayer, me want prayer because I want to present my body as a living sacrifice. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to give this body as a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is my reasonable service. Tell somebody, present your body. Present. Present your body. Present your body. If they get Solomon and Samson, they can probably get you too. So we got to be in the grace of God. Walking accordingly. Can I talk to the church today? Can I talk to the church? I don't get any message yet, you know. Can I talk to the church? Can I? Holy Ghost, talk to us, talk to us, talk to us. And, and then we see where Samson end up with Delilah and the, the Philistine heard that he was there and said, find out where his great strength lies. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. There are people who come in your life to destroy, not to help you. It's just downloaded by the Holy Ghost. They have not come to help you. Anyone come to help will correct you. Anyone that is in your life and they are compromised with you, they are not your helper. They are your destroyer. Can I talk to somebody in this house? And what is kind of sad? Some of us, the people, we move around. They are destroying us. I will have a free ride with them to hell. Nobody can talk to them. They listen to nobody. If you are in my life and if I do something wrong and if you can correct me, then brother, I'm in serious trouble. Come on, somebody. If you, are, if you need correction, you must take courage and say, thank you for correcting me. Can I talk to the church? Can I talk to the church today? I want people to help me to get to the next level, God. So if I mess up, correct pastor. Call pastor. Talk to pastor. Come on, somebody. Because I mean to go heaven. I've been to get saved for 40 plus years to end up in hell. And the Bible said, you know, it's those who endure to the end. It's not those who start the race. Can I talk to the church? It's those who endure. Lord Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. So people are coming to church, but not ready for heaven. I want to be ready up to the very moment. I want to be ready Sunday and Sunday night. When I'm sleeping. I must be ready. When I wake Monday morning in my sleep, I must be ready. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some sir, said if you came with a waste, then I'll be just like another man. And she said, come Philistine. He told me. When he said, Samson, the Philistine be upon thee, he rose up. And went away. Nothing happened. First time you sin, you may feel sometimes no conviction. As well, you may feel a conviction. Can I talk to the church? She said to him again, Why are you deceive me? And she said, Tell me where your great strength lies. Read the Bible. He said, Where can I afflict you? I want to bind you up, so tell me. Labash, I can't do about sin. People of God, sometimes people don't talk, but watch action. Watch the action. The action is speaking more than what they are saying from their lips. Watch their attitude in certain behavior. Give your body movements. So mm, we know who you are. I know what you are about. Amen. Your, your, your attitude, your, your, the way you move yourself and give, sometimes give an eye, give a wink. Think some of us are either that are fool. We know what we are saying because your body is telling us. Paul said to the virgin, you are men's epistle. You are not talking, but people are watching. 
You are not physically witnessing to this person, but they are watching you. They listen what you say. You are men's peace. Can somebody give God a praise in the house today? So, 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 so the woman was there. She, she really wanted to rid the man of his strength. Brothers, young sisters, men, women come to rid you of your strength. They want to take what you have. If they are not complimenting you, they want to destroy you. Can I talk to somebody? Any man, any woman come to you and want to hug you up and feel up and squeeze you up. It's a wrong address. You're not my husband. You're not my wife. It's a wrong address. I wrong, you're, you're backing up the wrong tree. You're, you're, I rebuke you too in Jesus' name. And you don't want no tea because you have no gas. Can I talk to somebody in the house? you got to be on the alert. Brothers and sisters, you have single sisters in church and single brothers in church. So I speak to both of us Do you all today. you got to be on the alert because somebody want what you're carrying. Oh God, somebody give her a praise because the devil know that there's an anointing upon your life and not only those who are single, those of us who are married too, we got to walk circumspectly not as fools the Bible says but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Can I preach to somebody in this house, don't watch no video that deal with sexual appeal as a young person, it will destroy you. Lord can I preach, talk to me Holy Ghost, Say, be careful what you feed your mind on. Deacon Campbell says, when lust conceive, be afraid sin and sin. When it's finished, bring forth death. What I say to one, I say to all, Jesus said, watch. That's my son. Watch, watch, watch. Watch where you go. Oh, God. I can't say I won't be accused of adultery, but I must lie to my tell me. Come on, somebody. Mr. Chambers, I must lie them telling on me because by the grace of God, I plan to walk before God. Come on, somebody. I told you in this church more than one time, I told God, if I come at the door, you kill me. And become less a guy that kill me, I walk right. You understand me, I walk right. Me, I behave myself. You don't understand. Let me tell you something. It's not because I'm minister Ivan Chambers. No, I could do things if I want to, but me fear God, me fear that God. Come on, somebody. Solomon, Samson, they lost the fear for God. There are other... There are other prettier women out there than there are other prettier women than my wife out there. Other prettier women, but she are the best. <laughs> She's the best. Yes. Yes. Amen. I was telling somebody was yesterday said I married about 30, 32 years gone, and the person couldn't believe. God may not look like me so old either. Can I talk to somebody? But the Bible says he beautify the meek with salvation. Can somebody get happy and give God a praise? Tell somebody, watch and pray. God, I'm not getting any message yet. I'm not going any message yet in the church of God. I don't get any message. My God, let me hurry on, let me hurry on, let me hurry I, I, No, I'm in it. I'm getting to it. I'm coming to a conclusion. And, and so the last time the woman said, how you say you love me? You love me, I can't give me sex. Can, can we bring it practical? Yes. How you love me, I, you, you can't go party with me. Now go, let's go see my man, you love me. Lord Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. Hear Pastor Chambers and hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. If you allow an unsafe in your life, he's on his way to destruction. And he comes to bring you where he's going. Oh, God Almighty. Delilah came to bring Samson where she was heading for. But up to then, Samson never saw it. Mm. You know why? He was a loner. It's good to have fellowship with the brethren. 
Minister, share a word with us, those of you who are in prayer meeting on Friday night. Forsake not the assembling of yourself together. Don't forsake when church time, when you're home, come out to church. Don't stay home when you can come to church. Come on, somebody, come to church. Let's have fellowship because iron sharpened iron. Don't stay home and watch TV when you come in the house of God. Somebody give God a praise. Samson didn't know that Delilah wanted to carry him where he was going. Huh. Anybody come in your life and want to take you in the wrong path, they have come to destroy you yeah. and to take you where they are going. Can I preach? The Holy Ghost help me today. They want to carry you where they are going. And some say, I want to win him from you. You can't win nobody for you. Can I talk to somebody? Only Jesus can save people. And don't try to save nobody for yourself. We cannot save anybody. Can you give God a praise? And so he finally told her, I was born a Nazarite from the womb. No razor had ever come to my head. The day I'm cut, I'll be just like another man. Halabu Shandiribi. You don't understand why some people are there. They want to get everything out of you to destroy you. Yes, yes, don't understand. Don't recognize this. The Bible said into the scripture, 1 Kings 11, the Bible said, Solomon loved. And I said in devotion, it, it was like in a fantasy, he loved. He loved them. Because there are some people who really love, some people just want sex. Let's kind of talk to them. Just want, then I love them. Want sex them one. As soon as them drop the egg, or the sperm them gone. And sometimes they don't want to be associated with you anymore. Just like David's sister. I mean, David's son, sister. The man loved his sister so much that he sent for her. And when he abused her. The love he had was more, the hate he had was greater than the love. Hear this man of God today. There are people who just want to abuse you, then put you aside. Hear the word of the Lord to you today. That's what Delilah wanted to do with Samson. Then the Bible said he began to smite the man. Smite him. And call for the laws of the Philistines. So come up this once. He had told me everything. They came and they cut off the hair. And I began to afflict him and said, Samson, the Philistines be upon thee. And he tried like the first time. Hear the man of God today. Hear what the Holy Ghost is saying today. He tried like the first time to shake himself. But the Bible says, Samson wist not that the Lord had departed from him. There are people coming church and they have a ship but no Holy Ghost. Oh God, can I, can I interpret what the Holy Ghost is saying to me? You're, you're, you're used to the thing but there's no spirit. Shake but God gone. Hallelujah but God gone. Amen. But God, God, can I preach that the Holy Ghost is revealing to the church of God? We come out of ritual and formality as usual. Samson went back as usual. But God left him. Oh God. Do I have a shout with no anointing? Do, can I say shake? But there's no God. Can I still say hallelujah? But there's no Holy Ghost in it. That's what happened to Samson. Had the shake. But no strength. He got up. And shake. As first time. But there was no strength. When you think you could resist, you are trapped. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. When you think you have the victory, you are trapped. You cause yourself to be taken in by the conversation. We said, I won't do that. Who tell you won't do it? Wait until the right moment come. Can I talk to somebody? He got caught. 
and they dug out his eyes. He now lost discernment. Can I talk to somebody? And when we can't discern, it's a serious thing. Help me in the church of God. Oh God, oh God. Somebody pray for Pastor Chambers. Pray for me in the church of God. Pray for prayer mothers. Pray for ministers. Pray for deacons. Pray for evangelists. That God open our eyes. Begin to see in the realm of the spirit. And what I understand, even when God shows us something and tells some people, they still don't receive it. They still don't. But want to do what does said the Holy Ghost. The man lost the anointing. He lost discernment. He ended up in a prison where he was grinding a mill. And the Lord of the Philistine began to say, Our oh God, Dagon, had delivered Samson, our enemies, in our hands. And they were celebrating. Ah, oh, God Almighty, they were celebrating. Ah, oh, God, they were celebrating because a man who was anointed lost it because of selfish desires, because of propensities, because of lust for the flesh, because of want to please somebody. They were rejoicing in their God, Dagon, the idol God had eyes but couldn't see, ears but couldn't hear. They were saying, they gone had delivered our enemies in our hands. But Samson, somebody said pray again. Somebody said pray again. Pray again. You may be messed up, 